Hello everyone, welcome to the new session on SAP HANA. So till now we have seen that what is a, a SAP HANA database and how we can create the account on a business technology platform and uh, after that we saw that uh, creation of uh, HANA database instance uh, in BTP cockpit and then we saw that how we can create a development project using business application studio. So in this video we will see that how we can create the calculation views uh, in a uh, business application studio so like calculation view is uh, considered one of the most uh, complex uh, like whenever we need some complex calculation so um, then uh, we need a calculation view to be developed in uh, uh, sap hana so generally we do that uh, using hana studio or eclipse but uh, uh, recently sap has uh, developed uh, sap business application studio so in that uh, this, this is an integrated type of like uh, all in one kind of uh, ide so using this we can create uh, everything like uh, any any project related to sap so now we will see that how we can create sap hana uh, calculation view uh, so for that what we have to do that we have to go to view and we have to find the command for like uh, in the command we will like uh, sap hana we will write okay so whenever we will write sap hana it will automatically give us some uh, options so here you, you can see that a uh, create sap hana database artifacts okay so you have to select that uh, sap hana database artifact and uh, uh, it will take some time to load that actually uh, but it will load uh, like you can see uh, right now it is working fast and it is loading everything uh, very fast okay so when it will load uh, just uh, you have to provide some information uh, in that okay so first of all you have to uh, select your uh, source folder okay so where you want to keep it so uh, actually i want to create this uh, in my like uh, it should be actually in uh, follow the path like hana database then uh, db then uh, src okay so basically i have uh, kept i have to check for that like uh, first of all I, have, I will go back and uh, in this I have select I have to say generally it will uh, give you like direct path but uh, here I have to select the path so let me select the path first uh, so, so path selection what you have to do that you have to like if it is uh, dot uh, show, if it uh, doesn't show you the automatic path so what you can do that you can just go to the home and in home what you can do that you can expand this uh, user and uh, then you can or uh, do like uh, you can go to your projects and in the project you will have like whatever project you want to select you can select that project so i want uh, to create my calculation view in uh, hana project so i will create uh, i will select this hana approach and then i will open it okay so inside the hana project actually we want to keep it in the like uh, source folder okay so what i will do that like i will uh, just uh, select again so that uh, we can select the uh, right path so it should be in the source folder so i will select this src and uh, i will open it so right now we are all set uh, to the path and uh, in the uh, database version it will be sap hana cloud only and uh, in the artifacts like wh whatever kind of view you want to create you can create analytical view you can create a uh, analytical view attribute view so here what we will do that we will uh, go with the calculation okay and after that you have to give the name of your calculation view okay so what i will do that i will give i will provide one name to my calculation view and uh, that will be actually uh, i will give it as like cal view okay so i have given uh, it as uh, it is looking like more looking like ci view so let me edit the name so that uh, we could could not get uh, confused so I'll give it like calculation view and uh, the level it will automatically specify and uh, after that we can like uh, uh, go to uh, create our calculation view so I will go to create my calculation view so uh, when I uh, clicked on uh, create like you can see that here one uh, calculation view has been uh, created uh, so what I will do uh, it will appear like here uh, I have to just uh, click on it and after that I, I can start the development of my calculation view so like and uh, in this you can see that uh, we are getting this semantic and aggregations uh, so in aggregation what we do that like uh, we are using any aggregation function uh, 
those okay so what we have to do that first of all we have to create a join okay so for creating a join you have to come here and if you want to create a non equi join you can come here if you want to create a equi join you can come here and if you want to create a union you can uh, use the shop um, options so like many options we are getting here okay you can just expand it also and you can see uh, like what 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 are this all for so i want to create a join okay so first of all we will create a join so i will click on this join so and after that when i will drag it uh, and uh, i will paste it okay so in this join like uh, what we have to do that we have to uh, provide uh, the tables name like uh, which table you want to join and on which condition so you can see that here it is uh, giving us uh, like uh, add data source so when uh, we will click this add data source it will give us the option like uh, which uh, table we want to join okay so here you can see that like uh, uh, so what we have to do that in the services we have to write uh, like uh, the table name which we want to uh, actually join uh, okay so for now now we have created already a s agency data so i will give the name of that s agency so what we have to do that we have to uh, select the table which we want to join so for that what we will do that we will uh, search the table uh, like i want to join the s agency table so i will just write s a and you can see that it has already prompted me so this table i want to actually uh join so i will just click on it and after that we have to search for uh, the other table which we want to join uh, so i want to join the s agency with uh, uh s agency data with uh, like uh, uh, s travel ag okay so i will uh write uh, the other table name that is s travel so sorry that is uh, s so it will automatically prompt like a few names uh, it has automatically prompted so now uh, i have selected the two tables and i will create the synonym uh, so creating synonym means uh, like we are joining the table and after that we have to uh, provide that uh, uh, like yeah these two uh, tables we want to join so i will click on the finish and uh, after that like we have to give uh, the uh, condition also okay so it will automatically de deploy you, you can see like i have selected other tables and it is going to automatically de deploy and uh, you can see like it has already uh, created and uh, the deployment will whenever you will click the finish it will uh, deploy uh, okay so don't worry about that just close that and you can see here so after create your join you have to uh, map this table so for mapping what you have to do you have to just double click on that and after that you have to just uh, join the uh, tables on joining condition so here you can see that agency num and agency num is common in both so what i will do that i will just create a join uh, from agency num to agency num okay so here uh, these are actually joined uh, and uh, after that like uh, what we have to do that we have to uh, uh, go to the mapping and in the mapping what we have to do that we have to uh, uh, like uh, for this data source input what output we want we have to check so for the output like uh, agency num i want in the output okay and i want like uh, booking num okay, i want in the output so here this one is actually num bookings i want in the output so it will also come and after that i want uh, like uh, agency uh, num i have already taken so name i want from the output okay so like uh, what i will do that like uh, agency num i don't want from this so i will just uh, take it off okay i will i will not, i don't want agency num from this one so i will what i have to do that like i have to just uh, select this this agency num just a minute guys so this agency name i will select i will delete it okay so yes i want to delete it so what i i, I other other thing i want like uh, okay let me delete this one also okay so i want uh, actually agency num from uh s agency data so for that i will like uh first i will put putinum and then i will put uh, num bookings and after that i want a uh, names okay so name i will take from this uh uh where is the name yeah here is the name this s travel ag uh, from this i will take the name so by this i have mapped my uh 
uh, source data source and outcome columns and after that what i will do that mm, like uh, i have to just uh, connect it to the uh, node to the aggregation node above okay so i will just close it and uh, i will just come here and the node i have to connect with the aggregation node uh, so for that what we, we have to do that we just have to take the node and this one is actually for the connecting so i have connected it to the aggregation node so the join has been actually connected and after that like to make it uh, look better we just have to auto layout add we have to add auto layout layout so auto layout will add a better layout on it and after that we have to actually uh short it so for sorting what i have to do i have to add a rank uh, uh so we have to create a rank so i will create a rank between this one this and this one so like uh, rank i will add here okay and i will just uh, um, add a better layout so better layout has been added and after that like uh, in the rank i have to click on the uh, I, have double, I will double click on the rank and uh, uh, we can see it. we have these three fields here uh, in the columns and first we will go in the mapping so in the mapping what what we will do that like uh, we will check that we have all three fields and in the definition like in the definition we have aggregation function so this is actually the aggregation function is like we are choosing a rank and after that like in the result set in the result set it is uh, like uh, result set direction is top to down okay and the result set uh, type is actually uh, absolute and in the fixed value like uh, we want like top five okay so in the ranking we want actually top five uh, data and uh, in the offset it will be zero okay and uh, after that we have to uh, this sort column so in sort column like uh, i have to add like from which column according to which column we want to short it okay so i want to sort it according to the num booking so i will just select the num booking and that i want actually in the descending order so i will just select the descending and after that we have to check uh, in the uh, we have to go back to like uh, aggregation okay so all done with we are all done with mapping so after that we will come to the aggregation so in the aggregation we will uh, we have to like uh, Okay, we can see that the rank uh, has been given so we have to just uh, like uh, see that what all output we want so i want these all three outputs so i will just map it okay so i have mapped it and uh, after that I, I have to deploy this uh, calculation view so let's step deploy it so i'm going to deploy it let's see Uh, so here you can, you can see that uh, like uh, deployment has been completed and uh, after that we can uh, open it in the hana database explorer so i will come to the hana database explorer and here uh, in the view we can check that uh, water calculation water view we have so in the views we can see that here it is showing no views right now uh, let me check why it, why this is happening so actually uh, this this we will not find the views we will actually find in the column view so in the column view we can see that uh, whatever the calculation view we have created we have got it so if you want to see like what it all contains so it if we can see here like uh, this contains actually these three fields and uh, after that if you want to see the uh, data so we can open the data from directly from here also okay <laughs> and you can see that the like top five uh, raw data it has uh, already given to us okay uh, and if, suppose if i want to perform any analysis in, on it so i will uh, uh, put the level one and level axis and i will give one value axis and it will directly give us uh, like whatever kind of uh, charts i want okay suppose i want a donut chart so I, it will give a donut chart uh, analysis of it okay so like this is how you can calculate the cal calculation view uh, using uh, application studio uh, and uh, hana database explorer so i will give you to practice some uh, more uh, thing uh, in a project so you can practice on that and if you want any support from me like you can uh, uh, comment in the comment box and i will provide the support definitely provide the support to you so thanks all uh, for taking this course and providing your uh, valuable time for this course thank you so much